Hey guys, and welcome back for another video. Today is Freaky Friday, hence the whole introduction. So I'm also having a drink and we're gonna to react to a Kevin Samuels video. This one was interesting because when I first saw it, the young lady, I thought she was Liv's life. I'm not out here partying every night. I'm not out here doing crazy shit. I be in the motherfucking house, bitch. Another YouTuber who's, I would say, fairly well known, but not like on Kevin Samuels level or anything, but I literally thought it was her. I'm like, wow. But then after hearing her talk, I'm like, nah, she's not her because I don't think she's 26 and she definitely has kids, so it wasn't her, but come on, let's check it out, shall we? You're 26? Okay. Uh all right, so um, are you prepared to share? I mean, you're in, you're almost in a danger zone. Are you single or are you married? Back up a little bit off the camera. You're 26. Okay. Uh, all right, so um, are you prepared to share? I mean, you're in, you're almost in a danger zone. Are you single or are you married? Say again. Single. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, it's not, I don't, Instagram is having issues these days. I got five bars over here, high speed connection. This is Instagram, not me. You're single, any children? Any children? No children. So what do you have? What, do, what, is, what is the question you have for me? What is the question, man? What are you talking about? Share a man. Well, if you were a side chick, you were sharing a man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the thing is, and no offense, but so many women today want to be the main chick. Uh -huh. But why can't you be that? How tall are you? I'm sorry? How tall are you? Five three. Dress size? Dress size, I must be fourteen. How much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? Uh two ten. Okay, real quick. Now he's done already told her to back the camera up. She's literally like two centimeters away from the camera. And that's I'm sorry, but we already know where this is gonna go. Probably immediately put the trumpet sound on. I bet you anything. That's why she didn't back it up. Not trying to be judgmental. I know I'm a little thick and chunky myself and I can stand and lose weight. I'll, I'll be the first to admit that seeing it, but I'll let him finish and he'll bring that out, I'm sure. You have a little self-respect. At 26 years old, there's no way you should be 210 pounds as a woman. Wow. Okay. I mean, is that shocking? Yeah, that's Well, even if you had a, okay, let's just say you had a lot of self-respect. Man, she lying like a mug, okay? I'm sorry. Why would a man, okay, especially the, if you want to go have a higher lifestyle man, do you see men who marry women that are 200 pounds plus as a norm? Okay, so this is why I think you ladies get it twisted. It's about your self-respect, and no, it's about you. You, you know, you got to get in where you fit in. And see, when I was coming up, I'm gonna just be honest. When I was coming up, women who were 
uh, let's just say BBW, okay? Yeah. Um, they were happy to have a man. Yeah. And they, but they would do things. They would cook, clean. They would be easy to be with. And my thing is, you know, today, ladies don't know what men are wanting, so you end up in side chick roles. But is that where you, you know, it's kind of like if a man was not the primary man, we'd say, can he afford to pay the, can he pay the cost to be the boss, right? Can you be in the primary role? Yeah. You can. Yeah. Why do you say that? What makes you believe that? Well, when I say can you be in the primary role, the, the presupposition is that somebody will pick you to be in that role. Pick me? I feel like it's all just lines of self-worth. You know? You How come I keep telling you it's physical with men? Yeah. True. Okay, so if I keep saying that in the nicest way, I'm trying to get you to understand that you can have all the self-worth in the world, but a man still has to pick you, right? If men don't want overweight women, how are you going to get picked? By bringing stuff to the table, right? No, by pushing away from the table. Start with your, start with your weight. So what I'm, I'm trying to understand the disconnect because I keep saying that men are visible, physical. And it's like, every time I ask you, it's like... You I just got to say this really quick. She is very facially pretty. Let's just be honest. Maybe her fair skinned and her curly hair and her white teeth and pretty smile. You know, maybe that got her kind of pretty far with guys. But now that she's older and possibly bigger than what she used to be, she's probably starting to notice like, man, you know, it would be nice to have my own man. And you can definitely be a 10. But you will be a 10 to the person you're dating. Sometimes there's something you just have to admit about yourself. Like, yes, there are more beautiful women than me on this planet. And you got to understand that you don't have everything and nobody has everything. What's most important is you treating the person you're with correctly so that they continually see you as a 10. Like, they'll be like, I'm good with this person because they're attractive to me and they do what I need them to do. All she would have to do is not date dudes that are already in relationships because that's kind of like a bad thing. Like, you can't really expect good karma in a situation like that. I mean, you know, what goes around comes around. Let's just be honest. How are you going to get picked? By bringing stuff to the table, right? Like, no, by pushing away from the table. Start with your, start with your weight. So what I'm I'm trying to understand the disconnect because I keep saying that men are visible, physical, and it's like every time I ask you, it's like you go right on past the physical and go into the other stuff. Why is that? Do you not believe men are physical, visual? Okay, let's see if we can do it this way. Now this may sting a little bit, but I'm, I'm, it's not connecting, so I got to get a little raw. You women who are there's the women who are good enough to be on the side and to have fun with, but if a man is going to commit to a woman long term and say this is my wife, she's a representation of him. She also, so men are going to judge you based on the woman you have. Then men likely want children. So if you're already 200 and some odd pounds, three kids, you're going to be every bit of 250. Yeah. This is why 
And I don't mean any disrespect, but back in the day, BBW women were side chicks because they couldn't be main chicks. So if you if it was if if you believed what I'm saying is more accurate than not and a way to getting the better chance to get promoted to the serious role of wife was to lose the weight and get fit to be a dress size four six. Would you do it? Okay, can you, like, oh my god, can you please stop selling the idea that somebody has to be a size 4 to 6 to be married? Like, that just doesn't, it's not 100% true. I have known plenty of people that were not a size 4 to 6 and who still got married. Like, maybe for high value, like, dudes that are making millionaire status because... They have this ideal of like, I have to date a woman and marry a woman who looks like she could be in a movie or something. Then yeah, they would definitely want somebody that small, but for an everyday person, they might actually take into consideration things like personality traits and agreeableness, lifestyle. Like maybe you're not 100% super skinny, but at the end of the day, you are healthy. You eat healthy, you exercise, you do what is considered things that are healthy. She is very facially pretty, so I'm pretty sure somebody will fall in love with her, even if she is a hefty sized girl. There's plenty of women who have that, but maybe they do have to share men and stuff. Who knows? I don't know. Like for me, I personally don't want to share a man and I've been in a situation where I've been cheated on and things of that nature and I was not cool with it. I feel like I gave it all back because of everything that happened. Okay. So well, I feel like I would. I did. I feel like I would. Well, I'm going to have Well, and this is the problem I get placed in because people say I'm harsh and mean. And it, but see, women are, aren't told that you need to maintain a fit figure. And it matters. It matters to men because, you know, men, men's, men's mate value, what men will choose to have sex with is low. But what they choose to marry is much higher. And, it, and it's generally the women's, what they choose to have sex with and who they choose to marry tend to be more in line with one another. So um, let me try to bring somebody else in that's... Uh, uh, closer to over 35, but yeah, just a healthy lifestyle would help a lot. I mean, cause it seems like you're going mean, you have a pleasant personality, but it does matter a lot to us men. And as much as I, I'm not going to push, I'm not going to say it doesn't because as an image consultant, I hear the truth. I see the truth. And I see plenty of women who are lovely women, but they can't get the kind of men they want because men don't find them, uh, their first choice, I put it that way. So that was a very realistic interaction and I appreciate it. I felt like it was very thought provoking for me. Um, I've been on a weight loss journey. I'm definitely going to continue. And it's not that I'm in a position where I'm trying to attract a high value man or a man any other than the one that I have because Based on Kevin Samuel's standards, maybe he's not technically a high value man, but he is high value to me. He's a 10 to me. Just like I said, I want to be a 10 for him. So that's why I exercise and I eat right and I continually try to upgrade my level of activity and things of that nature because I would like to be better and make sure that I'm in the best position for future children. I definitely don't want to be you know, 200 and anything. Like, that's just not where I'm trying to be. So anyway, guys, leave me a comment, like, and subscribe, and definitely check out some of my other videos. We'll see you next time. I woke up Chris Breezy. Oh my God, I'm the man. I'm so fly and I can dance There's tattoos on my neck I just FaceTime Kanye I told him I'm his biggest fan, yeah, yeah. Got all these hoes in my DM yeah, I do. Hold up. Holy shit, I got a kid oh. Oh, I can sing 